What is going on guys Wiser here and I am bringing you the recap of the last war for 2.0 and it was a good one the arranged matchup versus North remembers I think this is I don't know the third or fourth matchup uh, against these guys and they're an awesome group of guys and great attackers as you're gonna find out uh, it was a very very close war though amazing attacks uh, amazing jobs by both sides so check it out 85 to 85 came down to destruction 95.2 percent for north remembers over in uh, 2.0s 94.1 percent so real real close war um, all the tens got two for both sides and all the nines were cleared three stars uh by both sides so fantastic job no th10 triples unfortunately um but really hats off guys to north remembers you guys brought the heat that's for sure and um as well 2.0 boys really uh really brought some beautiful attacks as you're about to find out because i have like i think like 10 replays gonna this is gonna be a long one buckle up guys because we got quite a few replays i'm just gonna jump right in here click clack bringing a real sexy dragon attack i thought this one was super creative um kind of a post update attack style so glad to bring it uh goes ahead and drops a golem at that three o'clock position drops a balloon on that other mortar a couple wizards start dropping his funnel or creating his funnel <clears throat> Just really taking his time. Drops that other golem uh, at about 2 o'clock. Three more wizards starting to take out all that trash. Wall breakers go in. He's basically going to clear out this compartment and this compartment. Get the CC lured out. And he really wants... He, he kind of can almost get all three of those air defense. But uh, realistically, he just for surely wants to get these two. Zapquake goes down, as you can see on this lone air defense, kind of down here. And then he's just going to go and bam, five dragons just funneling straight up into this Archer Queen chamber. Looking real good. That Lava Hound that came out of the CC is about to get finished off. Uh, Queen's going to step up and finish off the air defense and start working on all these other defenses. Uh, drops a couple of balloons down with his dragons just to kind of start helping him, help him keep funneling right towards the Archer Queen chamber here. Things are looking good. Rage is down. Queen is down. Just got to take down the Teslas and Archer Tower, which are about to go down. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, a couple hogs go in on this backside, helping out the Queen. That Golem was about to die, so I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, really, these hogs are just getting free reign on a lot of these defenses. Finally, pit her out there, but has a few balloons going in, kind of on these all these outer defenses. Keep just buying these dragons enough time to finish this off. Still has Queen at full health and ability. Thought that was really cool, too. Uh, I think he uses the ability fairly soon here. Maybe get through the, through the lava wall. Yeah. Lose aggro on this archer tower, I'm pretty sure. It's about to hit it. There it goes. Just perfect timing on that. Right on that lava wall. Beats it down in no time. And as you can see, not much left. A little bit slow because the dragons are just really cleaning everything up. Archer Queen finishes off that archer tower. Sexy three stars by KK. Click clack. Beauty. All right. JJ. JJ had a six star war. Guys, a lot of guys had some six star wars. Really nice attacks here. Uh, eight Valks, 16. So Govaho, uh, shattered style. I would say never bring three hogs with more than a couple of Valks. Or sorry, three golems with a couple of Valks. Because um, really they act like mini, mini golems. Like if you bring four Valks, it's like almost the equivalent of, of a golem that just does more damage, has a little bit less hit points kind of thing. Um, so uh, JJ just kind of walks in around this 12 o'clock compartment, surrounds it with wizards. Arch Queen's going down. Just going to really clear out all that trash. Wall breakers are in. Wall opens up. Going to let those golems right in. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> Valks go in behind everything. They're just going to shred this compartment. Has the double jumps. Going to filter them into kind of this section and then filter them down to the queen compartment. This dead zone, he's kind of really using it to his advantage because once the Valks are in this compartment... Um, he does not connect this one with the cannon and crossbow, but he even has, gets a hog down on that cannon. I love it. A bunch of hogs going into 9 o'clock too. Um, but the nice part is when you drop a jump down here, because of the dead zone, it's going to force all the Valk pathing exactly where he wants it to. So he's kind of using that to his advantage. I thought that was really cool. Heels down. Now, there goes that jump. See, it doesn't matter even if he connected that, but because really that's this is all that's left of the base. Three hogs, or ooh, he hits a spring trap, but those hogs do finish off that uh, expo with the wizard. Wizard. Drops a cleanup wizard on the outside. Still has even four more hogs for this one uh, cannon kind of lone on the 
almost three o'clock position still a couple more hogs just down on each of these defenses and it is basically cleanup time still has full health and queen ability and goes ahead and pops that because uh there is nothing left of this base jj a six star war buddy bringing those trees beautiful <clears throat> uh craig's kingdom Greg kind of brought, um, I thought this was just a really cool idea on this base. This whole part is open, which is a cool and interesting, interesting concept, right? Uh, how many compartments is this? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Only a nine compartment base. So like the bare, bare minimum, in my opinion, that you'd want to build your base. Um, but as you're going to see, Greg's about to drop a golem down, I think around the six o'clock position. Sorry, he does a little zap quake first at this uh, lone air defense on the uh, two, three o'clock position there. But there goes that golem that I was talking about. And then here comes this healer. The healer's just going to be on this golem like the whole time. Drops a couple uh, minions down here. Create a bit of a funnel. Ends up dropping uh, a, a wizard. Start pushing everything up. He really wants to just lead everything up and into that town hall section. And try and get those other two air defense. Um, look what's in his CC. Here comes some witches and a wizard. I love that combination. because go, Goes ahead and drops that golem and draws the fire off the uh, archer tower and cannon. Uh, and the witches are just going to kind of start shredding up the middle of this core because there's no splash damage that can reach inside this core other than that mortar. Um, and it is targeting the golem. So that is, it just worked out perfectly. I thought that was super clever. I love the witches coming out that CC. I think they gave you a lot of value in this raid. There goes the C, there here come the CC troops, but the poison goes down. I'm going to take care of that. Queen's about to finish off that uh, town hall anyways, work on those Teslas, finish off that dragon. Per usual, the king did in and uh, went in and did his job. The queen was dead before he even got there. Um, it's kind of funny. He walks back for this storage um, and then gets stuck there as well. But then uh, he's alive for cleanup at the end of the raid. So it works out absolutely perfectly. Even sends a couple hogs in to kind of quickly take down that wizard tower. I thought that was neat as well. Just really well-rounded and well-planned raid, Greg. Fantastic job. Love this little kind of back end, Lalo, you brought it's basically clean up so i got so many replays i'm going to kind of speed up the ends here uh, i don't think this lava hound bursts unfortunately but it doesn't matter his queen's in there doing damage still has that golem in there tanking bam bam there goes the tesla there goes the final defense nice job greg tree stars mothers um what else we got here sparta my man He used his old spice champion this morning, that's for sure. Brings a pretty cool uh, attack here. I know this was a first hit. Um, drops a golem on each of these defenses. Kind of a couple wizards on either side. Uh, Going to start creating that funnel. Just is very, very patient with the whole thing here. He's got to wait for these defenses to go down. And then he's going to drop that jump. Perfect placement on the jump. Because he did not want to connect that side compartment. He wants everything going straight into this compartment. And the only wants the only path for them to be straight up. So he's going to drop another jump. That's going to connect these two compartments and the queen chamber. And uh, as you can see, he sent in all those Valks. Um, and and they're they they're just they're they're not getting touched because they're under a heal first of all they went in late so those Teslas are on them but they're not doing anything to them here goes the bomb triggering the bombs there goes the jump Valks get into this chamber and as soon as a uh, queen attacks boom they're gonna suck in onto this queen well maybe not come on holy delayed reaction there finally they go over to the queen. Start doing some work. King jumps in there, takes it out. He's already sent in a bunch of hogs. Loses a couple there to a bomb, but it's a really good angle. But as you can see, all those hogs are very, very low health. He does have one more heal, though. It's going to be for this bottom section where this uh, crossbow and everything is. Um, but there's not a lot of defenses remaining. You know, he's got uh, cleanup troops going everywhere. Uh, wizard on the outside. Uh, it'd be nice if he could get rid of these pups. The poison goes down. Takes out, uh, I think, all of them. Yeah, there go the pups to that poison. Boom, see you later. He's got a bunch of hogs left, heals them up, and there's really only the Expo and the Arch Tower remaining. Sexy attack, Sparta. That's my boy. Sucks those hogs jumped onto that king when it made it a little bit of a quicker, quicker attack. <laughs> and then he walks all the way over to those ones. And takes out your queen. <laughs> I don't think I watched the very end of this. That, that was a close call. Good game, extra time. <laughs> 
Sparta. That is awesome. Oh, man. <laughs> that made me laugh. Nice job, man. <laughs> Pulls it out. Um, <laughs> who else did we have here? Click uh, had a six star. Peter had a very sexy war as well. Uh, brings a really nice queen walk here. Gets insane value. He walks the he walks the queen like all the way up to this three o'clock position. Uh, thought he gets huge huge value on it. Uh, so goes ahead and drops the wizard. Kind of gonna push everything down to six o'clock. Um, she's gonna get really really good value to this. First of all, he's only dropped two healers. Um, he ends up. I think dropping a third, uh, maybe even both. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but really gets away with two healers for the longest time here. I thought that was kind of cool. Um, drops the rage nice and early. Really gets a lot of point defenses there. That level 3 expo has been locked on over the whole time. It was that uh, the perfect rage timing. Because as soon as she stepped into the expo range, the rage went down for the healers. All she needs to do is to kill this cannon and walk up. Boom. She's out of range of the expo. How about that? So going to continue on with this walk she's gonna oops sorry she's gonna get the um i don't think she gets that air defense but does get the wizard tower maybe she does in this little nook i think she gets that air defense there no she doesn't that was a different raid i've why i literally i got so many raids to show you they're all they're all jumbled so yeah he does have to drop the other healers here here he drops one um i think he ends up he must drop the other one there's no way she's gonna survive with the cannon and stuff on her there i don't think um, but you, like, look, look how long this is going. Um, might not have been able to do this long of a queen walk uh, without the extra 30 seconds that we have now. I'm not 100%. Don't quote me, Peter. Sorry if it would have been a three without it. But this is an insanely long queen walk. There goes the other healer. He's taking down the mortar. Finally, with a minute to go in the replay, she's taken out almost 40% of this base on her own. Thought that was just unreal. Goes ahead and sends in a shatter entry directly at this queen. Couple wizards down. Funnels created. King goes in. Is going to swat that queen down in two seconds here. Just thought it was absolutely fantastically planned because the queen's just going to stand down here start doing cleanup gets that air defense and i believe starts to charge into this base hogs have gone down in uh from the nine o'clock and the 12 o'clock position there's only a handful of defenses these once these expos go down look it's air defense air defense air defense and then those two teslas just <laughs> unbelievable value on the queen walk unbelievable job there peter he, uh you he took that hit those bombs but you got the heel down just beautiful all those hogs in on those final Teslas. Clean up time. Just awesome attack, Peter. Very impressed. Tree stars. <laughs> Sorry. Family's apparently going crazy upstairs. Um, what else I got? 16. King Brett. Brought a very nice attack. Uh, max attack here with the double hastes. Uh, I know Brett's been really advocating since the update how uh, how much he loves this attack. Just because you can bring the fourth quakes, you can bring two hastes and still two main spells. So that's just awesome because he's going to be bringing these uh, three lava hounds and 13 balloons on the back end. And as you'll see, he gets huge value out of that extra haste. Just just absolutely uh, monsters through this right now uh two golems are in they're gonna start moving up to that expo has great patience on his king down goes the earthquake gonna open up a big big section he really needs to get the defensive queen get both of those air defenses a golem does come out of the cc uh that can be problematic but unfortunately um it did not come out fast enough like it, you want it to come out and have your king lock onto the golem and your queen uh, well before they get in within range of the defensive queen because then you're going to buy your defensive queen a lot of time to start doing them damage and possibly cause a fail that's at least my opinion of a golem in the cc that's that's really the idea of, of wanting it. otherwise it's just i don't know not useless in my opinion um but this air attacks commence got two lava hounds in third lava hound in on that last air defense boom gets huge value on these hastes like look handfuls of loot, boom 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 all right over to these last defenses on this side coming in uh on this air defense really just got to take out the expo tesla the sweeper is going to give them a uh, no trouble whatsoever because they're uh, it's coming in at the perfect angle and that's almost it for this base, right? Expo is about to go down. Tesla is down. 
<clears throat> we got two archer towers, a cannon, and a wizard tower remaining. He's got cleanup all over. His queen still has the ability. King Bretts just crushes this base. Nice job, man. Boom. Three stars. Nice. All right. Dingus. Dingus the Great. Dingus is a genius. Dingus is the 2.0 war leader, or sorry, um, war general, if anyone uh, wasn't sure. Um, but watch watch just the planning of this attack. I thought it was absolutely beautiful. So he's got this little queen walk going, drops a right on the town hall, wizard to kind of help out. Um, just going to start taking out this whole section of base, but pretty much a, like immediately sends in this golem at 9 o'clock. Another wizard to start helping and lets the golem in right away. Um so really, he started this attack at the exact same time. I'm not 100% sure if every single piece of this was to plan, but I loved how, first of all, the queen jumped in, not that it mattered, but she stepped in that nook and was able to kill that air defense from there, and the one wall breaker goes in to help her get through that wall. I thought that was just genius timing on that. That was just awesome. So this queen's still going to move in. As you can see, the king's now in. Um, CC troops are coming out. Poison is already down for them. Uh... And I, he must have known when this is in the CC because it all gets killed instantly. Bam, 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 bam. King doesn't take any damage from them whatsoever. King's just walking through this section of the base. Has to just barely gets that rage down in time for the queen. Um, but it was it was absolutely perfect because the king's now gonna jump out and gauge. He's gonna get a few shots on him and just blast him down. Boom, boom, boom. Defensive king is down. Gonna finish off that uh, Tesla. And then I believe she's going to go back out and start doing cleanup once that builder's hut goes down. Like, Oh, no, she charges through that wall to get to that archer tower. But it doesn't matter. It actually works out perfectly. Because um, as you can see, there's a huge piece of this base left. There's like five compartments of the defenses uh, remaining. So all these hogs are going in. Still has eight hogs in the bag, really, for this Tesla farm where the queen is at under heels. And these two compartments. So <laughs> Dingus just murdered this base. Heel goes down. Queen even gets that last Tesla. Nice job. King's up there at full health. Beautiful. Unbusted golem. Very impressive attack. Nice job, buddy. Oh, man. So many good ones. Sorry, guys, if I didn't show your attack. Like, every attack was awesome. I just kind of had to pick and choose. Um... Glenn brings a real, real sexy attack here. Glenn had a six-star war. Glenn was our number 30, uh, lowest war weight town hall nine, with level 15 king and 19 queen. Okay, look at this guy's king, level 30, level 30 king and a level 20 or a 21 archer queen, or is that 27? 27 archer queen. So props to Glenn, man. He was a monster this war with these kind of mini heroes. Just very, very impressed with his uh, with his strats here. So, opens up this wall. Bam, bam, bam. Look, going to let that golem in. King is in. Queen's in there from behind. He drops these five hogs in this compartment with them. I thought that was a really cool thing as well because they're just going to start working their way up to this DGB there. I think there's a DGB there. Da, 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 da. Yep. So, those sacrificial hogs take out the double giant bomb exactly as planned. Then he goes ahead and drops the second problem as attack. Notice the queen's not down. Well, that's why he brought those Valks. Uh, one more golem and these Valks, boom, they lock right onto that defensive queen. They, she's done for, right? So, he's taken out a DGB. He's taken out the defensive queen. He's dealt with the CC troops. So, in come the hogs. Um, big section of them down on the six o'clock position. He's going to feed them up to this DGB. But as you can see on this side, he's already getting tanking. So everything kind of just meets up in the middle as he sandwiches all these outer defenses and boom. So yeah, it does lose a few most a good chunk of hogs there, but he, he's got just enough standing under a heel. Plus, like I said, he's got these wizards getting tanking from that golem. Finally, that expo locks onto this queen. He's got a rager up. And does so in one sec, but takes out the expo in the meantime. Just <laughs> fantastic job. One hog remaining, but really the sweeper is the only defense remaining. Nice job, Glenn. Amazing six star war. Beautiful work, my friend. Three stars. My only critique would have been drop you should have dropped that wizard there, not at that army camp for the cleanup. But you are a beast, my friend.
Nice job. What else do I got here? What else? A Peter has a six star war. I'll show you my attack. Just for funsies. But a pretty standard uh, double jump Govaho here. Uh, I just start my funnel, uh, get the two golems down. I really just wanted, I didn't care too much about that spell factory. I just wanted to get that DE drilled down because my jump was going to go down right there. And anything I drop from here is going to start going to these buildings there. So, boom, all the Valks are in. Eight Valks are in. Poisons go down here. Bam, bam. A little late on my poisons, I guess, apparently. Uh, but my heal goes down, kind of taking care of everything. Poison's going to drop all that stuff. This double poison thing is just overpowered, in my opinion. I don't know why they had to do that. Like, 30 seconds and an extra a donated spell. Like, just stupid. I don't know. I'm, I'm really unhappy about this update, but I'm not going to get into that. Uh, as you can see, double jump is down. I've really My point with this was I wanted to keep my Valks in this compartment and then in these two compartments. So I send these hogs in from there. Unfortunately, I lose a few to the, the bomb there, but I've already sent in the reinforcement from 12 o'clock and I still have six in the bag to send here to start, just kind of keep the pathing going in one direction because I have one more heal that's going down over these Teslas. And what I liked about that heal is I'm getting double value because the Valks are standing there beating on that wall at the exact same time uh, that they're that the hogs are getting healed. So I thought that was a good, good job on my part for that heal placement because really, uh, unfortunately, uh, that diagonal Double, uh, double giant bomb uh, really surprised me uh, this was a first hit um, but it didn't really matter I had uh, no hogs left by the end of the raid but it didn't matter because I got two Valks on that storage I have this golem that is unbusted uh, in fact does that golem have full health? Yes, it does. So the full health golem, the last two defenses are targeted. Uh, that mortar doesn't stand a chance here. Got like six wizards, seven wizards on the outside doing cleanup. I only brought eight wizards this raid, just so you guys know. Um, I think I only brought eight wizards, maybe more. I brought it. No, nine wizards. My bad. So nine wizards. So seven of my nine wizards survived. I thought that was cool. So yeah, had a lot of fun this war. Uh, did I have one more to show you? Yeah. Feathers. I like this attack. Um, with the double neutral zone here. Um, I don't know the vi super uh, viability of these dead zones. Um, I kind of been experimenting with it. I find a lot of times you kind of screw yourself. Like one of the earlier replays like I showed. Um, I forget who it was. Uh, but he really manipulated the fact because he knows. Like if you drop Valks here you and you drop a jump you can drop a jump wherever it doesn't matter they're going here and then they're going here and then they're going here right like it, it kind of in a way can can hurt you i guess if it's if it's not done properly um but feathers comes and just rips this rips bogged in apart here uh jump is down poison's down everything's going in it's got wizards in there uh another huge thing is when first of all the neutral zones they leave you they limit compartments where you can put defenses as well so you end up with like this an air defense in the same compartment as your queen, queen chamber and that's not good because most guys will just cold blood cold blooded you and bring a quad lalo on the back end uh feathers doesn't even opt to bring this because he brings the zap quake and then gets two so he just brings you know especially now with the zap quake if you can get the queen and an air defense with a very small kill squad you're in trouble because three lava hounds 14 15 balloons and a couple hastes are gonna make a big difference because let's not forget about the donated spell and let's also not forget about the 30 seconds that you know how many laloon raids that you've had at 99 percent because there's one builder's hut in the corner and your balloons kind of clump up near the end and oh wait that doesn't matter no. anyways rant over feathers just kills this base nice job man great war buddy really this was just a fantastic i love the arranged wars like there's nothing nothing more fun than that um i wish we could do it over and over and over all the time whenever we wanted you know but apparently things like town hall 11 and uh break timers are more important so supercell is just fattening their pockets in my opinion and uh yeah Apparently, I said my rant was over, and it wasn't. Um, I don't want to take anything else away from this recap because it was an amazing war for both sides. A lot of fun, a lot of amazing. I just, I, I can't, I wish I could show every single attack because they're all like that. They're all just awesome, well planned, well thought out attacks. There's great communication going on. 
Um, so, yeah, I just can't wait until one day when maybe we can just do this all the time because that will really, really, really uh, revitalize um, my faith in this game and uh, and the longevity of, of it all. So, uh, so great job, both sides. North Remembers, congrats. 1.1%. We will get our revenge. I promise you that. Uh, I'm going to call it a night here, guys. Very long video already. I'm interested to see how long it is. I don't have a timer running while I'm recording, but we'll see. That does it for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help you bag that next three-star. And until then, I'm out.